Guys, we have a new update regarding the Minnesota Timberwolves possibly getting a new arena. Now, I've been talking about the Target Center a few different times within the past two years. This is an arena that recently did, or I guess semi-recently did receive a renovation. The exterior was changed. I kind of make fun of it and call it an oversized Target because that's what it looks like on the outside. But let's see what this says. Alex Rodriguez and Lore, his partner, because Alex Rodriguez is a partial owner of the Timberwolves, they are targeting Minneapolis land for a new arena. Could the Timberwolves build a new arena? This is something that just came out within the past two weeks. Timberwolves part owners Alex Rodriguez and Mark Lore are targeting land near Minneapolis Farmer's Market for a new arena. That's according to a story from a longtime Minnesota sports reporter, Dave Shama, who said the minority Wolves owners have an interest in the land near the Farmer's Market, and you can see where the potential new arena would be. Now, I did do some digging on this story, and apparently they've wanted a new arena for many months now. This came out in October of 2023. Minneapolis Council candidates cool to helping pay for a new arena to replace Target Center. The team has a lease at the Target Center through 2035 with a $50 million penalty for breaking it, which, by the way, does not seem that bad at all. $50 million if you want to move to a new city where you think you can generate more revenue. And it was interesting to see all these articles talking about the potential relocation option for the Timberwolves. If it is only $50 million, they're at their current arena. You've got two owners. It's been speculated ever since A-Rod partially bought this team that he wanted to move the Timberwolves. Now, we saw him sharing at all the games. They've got Anthony Edwards. They've got a good young team. They, uh, a lot of people thought they were going to make the finals. They didn't get there, but they still had a very nice year with a young team. And the Target Center was rocking, but that is a very outdated arena. I would say it's bottom five, maybe bottom six in the NBA. And it already received a major renovation. So what are you going to do? Renovate it more? It doesn't make sense. They're at this kind of awkward period with the Target Center to where it's like, it's old. It's already gotten a renovation, but technically you could say, well, the renovation is still relatively young. There's no point. We got to remember when it comes to these new arenas, going through the legal process, buying the land, it takes four or five years at least just to do all of that, designing the arena, things like that. So they're already looking forward and they're saying, let's not wait for the Target Center to truly decay into a state of crap. Let's plan it right now so that in four or five years when the arena is obsolete when you've got new arenas coming up. I mean, at this point, it is already kind of obsolete based on the seating design, but you're going to have new arenas. The Delta Center is getting a renovation, maybe also Capital One Arena there in the District of Columbia. So they're saying, let's be proactive about it. The issue is, it seems like they're going to get basically no public help. And that's where a problem could arise. Now, this just depends if the ownership wants to fully privately fund this or maybe there's some type of wiggle room that can be worked out to where it's 75-25. You do have you know, two different owners. They can pool their money together and then maybe you get some public money. But from what I've seen, at least last October, the lawmakers were saying it's not happening. The new arena would also presumably raise the ticket prices and they're saying that uh, no taxpayers will not be footing the bill for this new arena, even though they are searching for land right now. And again, maybe they'll privately fund it, but it is interesting. I saw several articles mention the idea of the Timberwolves potentially relocating. And if it is only $50 million in terms of a fee, I mean, obviously it costs a lot more than that to relocate, find a new city, build an arena, find land, things like that. But it is interesting nonetheless right now. I do think the Timberwolves... It will probably build a new arena, but this is a situation to monitor, and this is not the only NBA arena situation. The, probably the most popular one is the Spurs situation. They're going to be moving and getting a new arena, but I would say right now the Timberwolves, you could argue that Delta Center was kind of in a similar spot as the Target Center, and technically they are renovating that. They're not really getting a new arena because I thought that the Jazz would be getting a new arena with the addition of the NHL team that's coming to the city of Salt Lake City, but it's not happening. They're getting a renovation. So I can understand why they want the new arena. I can also understand fans saying, well, it just got a big renovation seven or eight years ago. But again, when it comes to a new arena, it's not like you can plan for it and then next year it's there. 
it's a four or five year process. So four or five years down the line, when the target center becomes more decrepit, that's not when you start planning for a new arena. That's when you have the new arena ready to go and ready to move into. They know, these owners know that the target center is not highly thought of. It's not a good venue, even after the renovation to the exterior, the interior is obsolete and they're planning and saying, let's get a new arena. It just comes down to the money in terms of the private investment and how much the ownership is willing to pay for this new arena. Because if they hold out, this could be an issue to where maybe they do threaten relocation. Technically, it says they can't relocate until 2035, but only a $50 million fee for leaving early. Again, that does not seem bad at all. I don't think they're going to relocate or anything like that, but it's just weird to see several different articles mention it and say, well, when Alex Rodriguez bought part of the team, he was always planning on relocating them. And maybe he was, but you know, we've seen him at these games. It does seem like he's taken a liking to Minneapolis. So although that's just kind of my speculation. Either way, we will have to see what happens. They got that new roof. Yeah, that is an ugly looking roof. The green roof. I mean, it just looks... If you're going to have grass on a roof, at least make it look like presentable. Like, you know, MLB stadiums, the fields look beautiful. At least make it look really nice. It looks, you know, like weird moss right there in that image. But yeah, that is their new and improved exterior of that stadium. And to be fair, the exterior does look better. But this is just yet another NBA arena situation to watch. We do have the new Intuit Dome opening in the fall. So that'll open in late 2024, home of the LA Clippers. And by the way, I did see some semi-updated construction photos of the Intuit Dome. I'm not sure if these are the, this is like the new update. I'm guessing all of the seats are installed by this point, but you can see the, the giant wall of seats behind the one basket, the uninterrupted wall, just like Maryland basketball. It's going to be very unique for an NBA team to have. And then just the ridiculously elongated lower bowl that this arena features Interestingly enough, no natural light led into it. I believe there is natural light on the concourses, not into the actual stadium. There's no window, which does surprise me a little bit. But uh, this is Englewood, California, and this is by far the most expensive NBA arena we've seen at $2 billion. To put that into perspective, you've got an NFL stadium going up in New York right now, East Orchard Park, and it's around 1.7, 1.8 billion. Obviously, the capacity of it's going to be 65, 70K. The capacity of this arena is only 18,000, and that's how much it costs. It's going to be a very futuristic arena for sure. And then we do also have the several other situations. The Wizards probably getting a renovation. It's looking like maybe around a four or $500 million one. You do have the Spurs situation, possibly the Mavericks looking at a new arena in a different area as well. And then also Oklahoma City looking for a new arena. Or they they're they have actually approved their arena, but we haven't seen the renderings for it. That could open by the year 2029. So I would imagine this is just the early initial stages when it comes to the Timberwolves looking for land, potentially soon releasing renderings on what I would expect would be around a 1.2, maybe $1.1 billion new arena. Technically, you can still build a new NBA arena for under a billion or right at a billion. I think OKC's cost is like $950 million, but there's probably going to be overruns. These projects normally have that, so I would imagine it's somewhere around a billion dollars, maybe a little bit more, and it just depends on the public versus private financing, the logistics of the land, how much does it cost, are you going to be able to do it, I don't think as long as it's privately funded, there would be obviously any issue with building a new arena. Even if it's like 75-25, the Timberwolves in the city, they have to realize, you know, this team could potentially relocate as long. We'll see what happens. It just depends if the public money is not, or excuse me, if the private money is not there. And we've got lawmakers saying, no, the public money, they're not going to pay a dime you're going to have a big problem in terms of that. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.